Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Here's a drone shot. Come on. That's awesome. Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I'm Dan. Today we are back in Saudi Arabia and we're visiting the city of Mecca, sitting inland here off the coast of uh, the Red Sea, not too far from Jeddah, up in the mountains here. This is one of the most interesting cities probably in the world because of its centrality to the Muslim faith. It is uh, where they direct all of their prayers centrally. It all focuses right here on the Kaaba, and we will explore that. Now, this city is not very well mapped with uh, Street View. It's not at all mapped with Street View, but there are all these blue dots that represent places we can check out, and there's actually quite a bit we can see. And, um, well, I'm very excited to check this out. We'll get to, we'll get to this, you know, this holy part in a bit. Hold on, though. I want to I see a little bit more of the city outside. This is a very large city, just under 2 million people or so live here. And of course, what's unique about this place, I'm just dropping in somewhere random here, and a bit sideways, um, is that this is the destination point for the Hajj, for the this holy ceremony, a pilgrimage that all Muslims are required to take. Look at this view here, we're looking at August 2019. I apologize for the angle here can kind of see some of the new buildings going up here. Very busy, bustling. Let's try another picture. That's not too good, but you can tell near a park there. So the city swells in size from around 2 million all the way up, like triple that size during peak month. The, the, um, the Hajj is an annual celebration or holy period where People, Muslims from around the world, come and visit, and um, they have some rituals they perform, and uh, it's a very interesting city. And it's actually a closed. It's closed to the non-Muslim world. So I'm not a Muslim, and I, I actually cannot visit here, or I'm not allowed to. I'm not supposed to um, visit here. So I'm going to just explore it virtually, and this is going to be great. Already, this is pretty interesting. I apologize for the quality again of these images. <laughs> I don't know why this is all off kilter. Interesting buildings. This city is really booming. It's like there's unbelievable construction here, and we're gonna get a peek at some of that. Um, it's just growing like uh, crazy. It's just really, really, really booming. All right, where can we drop in now? Let's go over here. Looks like we're on a main street. Oh, this looks to be closed to traffic. Maybe this, we might be here during that time of year. It looks very busy, obviously, right now. Looks like everyone's heading uh, in a certain direction, possibly to the Kaaba. Not sure. You know, actually, I think we're, this might have been a poorly placed image because I think we're right near it, maybe. Everyone here. Many people dressed in this white garb, I forget the term for it, but it's traditionally worn while you're here on the Hajj. A special, special fabrics, and uh, at least all the men, maybe the women too, get dressed in it. Pretty interesting. Look at all this construction going on. You can tell by this light that uh, this, that building's under construction. This is June 2019. This is an ancient city, and it's the birthplace of Muhammad, and also the location of his first revelation, somewhere in the city, or around the city. Gonna pop over here in another car. Interesting. Hey, look at this design here. This is very pretty. Tons of hotels, I'm sure. They have to, I mean, it's such an unusual place. Really unlike, there's, I don't know what equivalent you could think in the world where the, you have a city of, you know, a certain size that swells three times in population for a month or so. Look at this old place down there. That looks like it dates way back. And then obviously surrounded by tons of new high rises. 
Very sunny and bright. Glowing, <laughs> glowing bright. It gets really hot here. Um, not a huge surprise, I suppose. Uh, you can kind of tell. Mecca Museum. That might be neat to check out. Oh, we're actually, we're actually inside. All right, so this is a little cooler. I'm sure there's lots of well-cooled interior spaces. This is actually really awesome. Great place to bring kids. Um, this is super fun. It's like a mall here. Oh, this is great. Oh, we actually can move around a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of like great interior, in, you know, indoor shopping and stuff. Um, oh, ice cream, come on, Baskin Robbins. That's gonna be what you want here when you're visiting, I'm sure. Well, outside of, you know, your religious duties, you're gonna wanna come inside and cool down, get some ice cream. That's what I would do. Um, let's pop back out here, if we can. Interesting, Mecca Museum. Al Hacker Time. Very organic layout to these streets, much of it. All right, might be near the museum now. Okay, we're actually inside the museum. Oh, look at this. Wonder if those are look like meteorites maybe, or old rocks related to maybe something special. This is very pretty in here. Love to tour around here. Again, I <laughs> normally I say that and I kind of dream of actually visiting. I don't think I'll ever visit Mecca. I don't, I don't plan on converting, but I, I guess who's to say? Um, I don't see it in my future, but you know, this is very neat though. I'm, re I'm really enjoying just looking around a bit. Huh, looks like a nice museum. People exploring it, reading about the history. Now, Muhammad was born in 570 AD. Oh, here's a wedding hall up here. Yeah, very, it kind of just stretches out here all around. It's hard to get a sense of this place. There's a big central area here that they're, they're clearly building something here, a rail or transit or, I'm not quite sure, you can see that? It all kind of leads from one point to another. Okay, so here's the train station. Aha, so you're gonna arrive by train, possibly, and then take some other transport, I think, directly in, it looks like. Um, let's check out this train station. It's kind of neat lo looking. If we can. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is so pretty under here. Very nice, what a, oh, what a lovely train station. Not too many people here right now, March 2019. Um, now, Muslims or certainly can visit here, I was reading, any time of the year, because that was my first thought immediately. I'm like, well, why would you visit during the busy, you know, it's like when you visit Disneyland, you don't, you don't visit there in July, you go in January. Um, but it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't quite work that way. Look at this. This looks brand new under here, right? Super brand new, um, like the concrete work looks brand new. Um, obviously nobody around here right now. But while you certainly can visit any time of the year, um, you actually have to, you have to visit during the special month, the 12th lunar month in the Muslim calendar. So it doesn't quite count, but you might be able to, you know, get a better, get a closer view of things if you want to kind of see it. Oh, look at this, some shop. All right, selling phones and stuff. DVDs. All right, guy setting up some stuff for sale. Interesting, boy, I wish we had proper street view. I guess it would be hard to get street view, although there's no reason why you couldn't hire locals to drive around, right? With a 360 car, that seems feasible. Let's try out a neighborhood down here. Again, we're indoors, lots of indoor shots. <laughs> we're actually on the floor, okay? Maybe a hotel, maybe a house. Just look like newer buildings here. Something about the shape from above. Lots of mosques around, as you would expect. Interesting. Oh, look, here's the concrete plant or, you know, in industry out here. 
can kind of tell they're mining, it looks like, for raw materials for construction, I think. This is also the city, and we're going to explore this, has the third largest, the third tallest, I mean, um, skyscraper in the world. Freestanding skyscraper. And let's just go ahead and check it out. Let's let's move into the, uh, I, I don't know what it's called, but the Holy of Holies here, you know. Uh, Masjid al-Haram. Interesting. By the Kaaba. And here's that tower I was talking about. Without it being 3D, mm, you know, designed, I can't quite orbit around this. But this is, if you haven't seen this building, it is one of the most spectacular skyscrapers I've ever seen. I followed its construction for years um, on skyscraper page forums and other skyscraper forums. This is just a beast. A beautiful, I, I think it's beautiful. Some people have varying opinions. I think it's a lovely building. It's actually a series of seven buildings up here. We, we can't hardly see it from this angle. We're too close actually. Um, let's try another one. Uh, we'll see if we can spot. We'll spot it. I promise. It's it's going to be everywhere in our view here. Way back up there, you can't see it behind that light. Actually, um, nine. Uh, let's see. What? How tall is it? It is a uh, nineteen hundred seventy-two feet. I saw a huge clock tower on it, and it's yeah, a series of seven buildings actually, hotels primarily and residences. And um, wow, look at this. Look at this building here. Fascinating. Um, obviously, there's just tremendously crowded with people there, as you would expect. Hotel Pullman. Let's try this place here. All right, a little less jam-packed at the moment here. Here's a good view of it. Look at this stunner. This clock tower is the largest clock tower in the world as well. It absolutely dwarves, you know, Big Ben. Um, it's, it's hard to get a sense of the scale here. That something away the the massing of it, you can't quite tell the, how tall this is. But again, third tallest at the peak in the world, and uh, what a place! Built for fifteen billion dollars. <laughs> uh, that's way more than a, a normal tower costs. It was built with just premium elements, you know, all the best, only the best. All these hotels here are quite new. Hmm. Interesting. And we're really not inside. You can tell there's more construction here happening all around us. Really nice buildings. Again, look like they're really being built with care, kind of in an old fashioned uh, look. And let's go inside. Let us drop right in and and see it. Tremendous construction all around again. There's still a lot of effort being put into this. Kind of a blurry image there. But there is there is the Kaaba, this black shrouded um, box. Well, it's not just a box, but... Um, and, and when they come here, Muslims will circle this counterclockwise uh, seven times as per tradition or whatever. I've actually seen some great photographs, like time-lapse photographs of that, and it's kind of awesome. Let's try another image here. A little less crowded right now. Maybe this is the off-season. Again, this is <laughs> I feel like this is when I'd visit, right? Um, but again, I don't think it counts. Looks like there's some booths here with presumably Qurans in there. Look at all these cranes here. Tremendous construction. And um, how about that? Obviously not everyone's wearing that the white garb. It's a mixture. Uh, maybe it's just by choice. Some people praying here. And there's the tower again. Let's get a view of that. Look at that clock tower. You can sort of get a sense of the scale here from this angle. Massive, massive place. Wow. And here's all this construction. All of this, much of what you're seeing above here is all new. This did not exist even 10 years ago, a lot of this. It's all kind of focused on here. The entire, again, the entire Muslim world kind of is focused on this point. 
Uh, anyone who prays, you know, if you live literally over here, you pray facing here. And if you live over here, you pray facing here. And you just extend that to the entire world. Wherever you are, the, the design mosques or whatever, prayer rooms facing this direction. It's pretty amazing. Look at this. Look at how beefy these columns are. <laughs> um, wow. Tons of fans. Yeah, the issue of keeping cool here is a major concern, I'm sure. Interesting. It looks pristine. Again, top quality materials here. Marble and I'm sure the wood is, you know, just the best wood only. And yeah, there, there's like seven things they have to do. Seven, uh, whatever, rituals. You have to drink from a well and run back and forth between two hills. Go up a mountain. Um, they have this tradition of stoning the devil. Uh, which is not really, you, you throw rocks at these columns that represent, it's part of their uh, historical story. This is pretty neat here. Tons of mountains all around, very mountainous. Everyone just kind of relaxing here. This feels much cooler this time of day. It's a minaret. I think the whole this whole tower acts as a minaret, or part of it or something. I, I read there were speakers in it. Very nice. I wonder what it would be like to actually live here. Again, there's just around 2 million people who live here year round. I'm sure many of them are employed in the hotels and whatever, various shops and so forth. Look at this. I wonder when, I wonder how big these construction plans are. Like when will construction end or something? Do they, you know, what's the master plan for this city? Cranes everywhere. Everywhere. For just, for a very long time. Man, look at all the light glowing out of there. It seems like a lot of people visit at night. Again, probably for the temperature issue. Let's actually check out the mountain. They have to visit, um... Where is it? Somewhere this direction. Huh. All right, let's look it up. All right, yeah, this is one of the, the I believe that you have to climb this mountain or tradition is to. Let's go right up on top here. Oh, okay. Kind of neat actually. Right in the center, they've kind of built a whole town around it almost. Very rugged terrain. Kind of interesting rocks, you know? Interesting shape to them. Let's try another place. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot more people out right now. Interesting. I'm not sure what historical event is said to have happened on this hill. I don't know, I know some Islamic history, but not a ton. <laughs> Clearly. Um, interesting. Mount of Mercy. Huh. They built this whole road around it here. It's been very developed. You imagine probably back in the whatever, 1800s, this was much more rugged. Um, interesting. I wonder what all this is here. Parking? Maybe. And let's go up here. Um, look at this. This is Mina. This is a tent city. And um, all of these, it's again, we can't really tell right now, but you can see in this image a little bit. These are all tents. And they're, they're air conditioned. And they can, these can house around as many as 3 million people during the Hajj when they visit, and it is quite a spectacular sight. Uh, I wonder if we can see any of it. A little bit, you can kind of see back there. These little peaks, these are all air conditioned. I imagine they're um, decent living, you know. 
well, at least for t a temporary span, of course. Seem like they're kind of very well built. And um, my, 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 health centers. Yeah, you have to really make this safe and everything with all these people. Huh, there's a tunnel that comes out there. If we can get any more views of this. People relaxing out here. Picnicking, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Just, just resting outside of the tent area. It almost looks like a Google car there. I don't think it is. How about that? Tons of bright lights here. I hope they shut those off at some point during the night. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people out right now. That is so unusual. I mean, where on where on earth do you see something like that? I can't think of anywhere. Pretty fascinating. This kind of looks like the old town here, right? The way this is very organically shaped. We really... Um, I don't think we can see much here. Oh, there's one image. Oh, this is not right. Oh my goodness. The, okay, th that was a poorly placed image. We are actually right here. We're, this camera is sitting. We're behind the curtain here. Hope this isn't inappropriate here, but we're actually right next to the Kaaba. And over here to the left then is where the, the uh, it's the black rock. I'm not sure what the term is for it. The, the holy kind of point, there's this rock that's special to the faith. And it's actually a series of smaller rocks. I think it used to be one rock and it broke over the centuries. And it dates back, I don't know, I'm not quite sure. It's been regarded as a special object within the faith, and even maybe prior to the faith existing, it was considered special. It's been stolen at various times and returned, but um, it's kind of set in the corner of the black, that domed black Kaaba. Isn't that interesting? That was a crazy picture. Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad I could see that. Garthro, let's check this out. This looks like a hill out here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. This is not just a hill. This is a real proper mountain here. You can kind of see down. What a rocky terrain. Wow. Look at this cat chilling out here. Oh. <laughs> That's wonderful. People marking their names, visiting in 74, looks like. Special place, I'm sure. Seems like a great place to come some, some morning, you know? Before everyone's up. Wow. Fantastic, look at these clouds here. Oh my, 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 my. This is so neat. And again, there it is, the Abraj al -Bait. 1,972 feet tall. Fantastic. Interesting. What unusual terrain, too. I mean, what a sight. My, my, my. All right. Couple more places. Again, I'm sorry I can't see more of this. Um, interesting. All right, let's try another, another view. Maybe up this hillside. Some of these hillside views are kind of great. Well, perhaps I spoke too soon. Oh, this is kind of neat though. Look at this, nighttime view. Look at the amount of light they have beaming on this. We saw that in another picture. I mean, obviously it's just, you know, everyone's got to see. And again, visiting at night, I'm sure it's just a cooler time to do it, but that's just super glowing there. Huh. Pretty neat. It's interesting how it's laid out here too. You can sort of sense as I orbit around here, big hills breaking up the terrain. Not flat at all here. I'm sure getting around, well, it looks like they've built all these, dug these tunnels. Tunnels going through everywhere here. I wonder if it's hard to navigate that. Look at that, tunnel, tunnel, tunnels all around. I'm sure taxis are very common here. People who know the area. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Here's a drone shot. 
Come on, that's awesome. Fantastic. I wonder what this is. Is this like a viewing? I can't tell if those are roofs. I guess they are. Man, what a what a big place. And obviously, I'm sure it functions as a normal city in many regards. I'm sure there are businesses here and headquarters and all that. Um, look at all this construction. It, it continues. This is March 2019. And they're continuing to build this kind of back. All these plazas here. Everyone has to eventually move in here and then move out. I'm sure that gets a lot of, you know, traffic jam of people. And, um, wow. Very neat. I trust it's not inappropriate to virtually tour a city that I'm not supposed to, um, physically tour, right? I hope that's okay. Um, either way, it's probably the closest I'll ever get. Hanging out with this guy here. Quite the view off this patio here. Million dollar, dollar view, right? Amazing. Look at that. Is that an instrument? No. What is that? I don't know. A prop? Perhaps. Neat. Very neat. I wonder if there's any views. I hate to focus this all on here, but come on. I mean, that's why we're here, right? I um, wonder if there's any views up here in the actual tower. Oh, I think so. I th oh my goodness, there it is. Not the best image, but I'll, I'll take it. Looks like there's it's netting here for safety. And then, oh, very not a great image, I'm sorry. You can get a little sense of things. Wow. The lucky few get up here, I think. Uh, maybe it's open to the public, I don't know. Pretty neat. You can tell the, the craftsmanship that went into here. Um, you know, spare no expense. This is... Um, they just built it as nice as they possibly could. Look at this dual helicopter pads. Um, obviously some very wealthy people come and visit here. You know, literally kings and so forth. This is probably where they stay. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, one more place. One more place, and again, I'm sorry I didn't see more of it. If you live here, if you've, if you've been to Mecca, let me know where I, I could check out. Or, you know, direct me to some images I might enjoy, you think. There's a mall. So much. I wish it was Street View proper, but... No, as I've said, just kind of looking at some of these preview images. Interior. Lots of interior pictures here. This guy's having fun. Look like hotel workers, maybe? I assume if you work in Mecca, you also would be Muslim, probably? I. That seems... Seems likely. Looks like a big tower going in here. Well, or a perfume store. <laughs> no, obviously not. Um, interesting. All right, one, one good view here. Something, something cool. Rough road up here. Oh, lovely. Look at these people chilling here, picnicking. Oh, I'd love to hang out with them. I'm sure it'd be a nice time. I feel like I'd be welcome. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I like to imagine I, I would. But, hmm, pretty interesting. I'll be honest. I grew up, um, Christian, and I'm no longer a Christian. But I, I did grow up. I grew up very fearful of Muslims. And just the, the whole world. I, I didn't know about it, but I was taught to fear it. 
And I think it, I won't criticize Christianity exactly, but their fear of this faith is, it gets ridiculous. And I, I'm, I don't share I don't share that fear. I think these are just people living their lives. And I don't know. And this is what they do. And this is special to them. And nothing wrong with that. Not in my book. I think it's pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Look at this two-headed woman. <laughs> Obviously, that's like a photo error. Um, wow. Pretty special. All right, this has been great. Uh, please subscribe. A lot of people were excited that I visited Saudi Arabia earlier. And um, do check out the other tour I did. I promise I'll be back at some point. This is pretty, pretty neat. Let's add it to my list here. Add a place. Mecca. Oh, two C's. All right, there it is. Let's zoom back in. There it is. I'll have to get back to Jeddah too at some point. I was in Riyadh. That was neat. And uh, please subscribe. Tell your friends. Check out some of my other videos too if you enjoyed this. Been over 100 places all around the world. And uh, till next time.